Just me and Torgal and Jill. Wouldn't let if you could have jumped in the water there. I knew that wasn't a thing though. It's weird that this is so empty that there's n literally no enemies. What are you growling at? Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Oh, is the city gonna be like the town gonna be in trouble? Oh, don't tell me East Pool is being raised. I don't see any fire. Well, something bad is happening here. There's fire. Oh no. What happened here? Oh, just poke him with the sword. Imperials. You branded? You were born a slave, and you'll die one. <laughs> Kill all the ducal dogs. Ducal dogs. They were innocent people. You know what to do, boy. <laughs> So this charges my limit break so fast. This guy. By Empress Annabella's command. Empress Annabella. My mother ordered this. Why? Okay. I know. We could wait.
Got him. Slain. That wasn't even a boss. Uh, level up, noise. Damn, everyone's dead. I'm sorry, Lady Hannah. Deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Your mom's a real villain. More. Oh, we're too late, Gav. Clive. I think we're still gonna have to work with Sid. The of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Yes. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Damn. That sucks, man. I like these people, too.
Tragic. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Oh. Lord Kuka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Okay, that makes sense. Writing wrong. We have a lot to discuss. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Don't mind me. Wonder if Sid missed us. Oh, Jill's already winning. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. Facts. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit, and there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? Yes, that makes sense. For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. Clive is becoming the leader he was always so, meant to be. That's all meant then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. Nothing better happen to chill either. To pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. Let's go. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital. Woohoo! And pay a visit. Yes. That is a gorgeous scenery piece. Look at that. Imagine living in the top of that tower. The Council of Elders. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. This is the Emperor. Your radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Hmm. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really 
The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. Damn, he's not holding back. You fancy yourselves leaders of men. You know. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. Why not? That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> well, uh, oh, yeah. There will be up jabronis. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Delmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. The sky. Very arrogant. I kind of dig it, though. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Damn, I want Bahamut powers to be honest, and Odin. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but <laughs> no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows, land drained so dry of its ether. Not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we looked to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this air fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive, some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. That makes sense. As to where it's all going, mind. Well, I can't know everything, can I? We are told that the mother crystals are divine. I wonder if it has something there to do with the fallen. Heavens. I would imagine so. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Maybe they did. Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Can Those in power. Who, exactly. The higher ups, the gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? 
we're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. You can do both. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create Checks a place out. where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? Aye. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> Twin blades. <laughs> you could have just said I. <laughs> but it's nice to have you aboard all the same. I don't think Jill is so sure. What have I got myself into? I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. Player view. I like these creatures. There. North like soldiers used to speak of a brothel. And that was north of the checkpoint. Damon's friends in the south. A moment, my lady. A moment. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. That was rude. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Damn. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such. Impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. She gonna seduce me? Or him? Me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but why would you help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Sid is a legend. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deign to appear. Yeah. That will do nicely. But she is saucy. I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? <laughs> he does not know what he's gotten himself into. However, do they get that doing tut tut we cannot have people thinking i tolerate disobedience from my branded the men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are 
Must. It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. Oh, he's lucky I'm with the dame. Who got murked? That was easy enough, though. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as hmm. you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Seems sketchy. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. If I just dip down now and just head to the castle. Capital. Probably not the best idea, though. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Well, this is a spicy place. She's got a pretty big building here. Although, I guess you'd want two stories. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question... I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Why are they so breathy? And take this. Another seal? Proof of that trust, and hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. The Dame. All right, time to go ask around. This probably gonna. And poorly? You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Of course she does. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. 
It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Mm. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. I was gonna say this is a so you've been potentially sketch. The girls have been talking about, and you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. <laughs> I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first. Oh, a stalker. It didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slightly sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. Probably from a, a girl. Very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And you'll find her. I mean, hopefully he hasn't done too much scummy stuff. The man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. I haven't seen you around the veil of late. A lot of side quests here. Excuse me. You there? The gentleman with the sword. Did one of them get on this? I seen a chocobo. Heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. Where's the dame's brooch? One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for That's right. <sighs> Kiss my ass. There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Tell the whole tale. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a the merchant there. But that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one in fact. Of course. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Yeah, there's a lot of side quests. I like the background here at this location. Oriflam, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Oh, 
Okay, I still have Torval. Ha, Valene, aka Villain. Oh, that's uh, their title. It's not their names. I thought it was their names, and I was like, oh, that's clever. But then I saw a bunch of them were named that, or had that as a thing. Yeah, there's so many side quests. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stopped to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. That's even with the dame's brooch for protection. I mean, I, I wish they would try, to be honest. Oh, if even a brain is missing. We're expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? What's oh, that call for the country? Cut this guy. I come to you from Northreach at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Oh, he s he did he steal the comb or was he trying to upgrade it for? But... Although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. Hmm. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. These guys are extra. Be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean. Most. <sighs> So we get some beasts up ahead. It smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. This is funny.
That's easy enough. Uh, we got Ice Cream Man in the background. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of... Damn it all. Are these the two? Bodies. A man and a woman. Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. They were dead before. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? So who killed them? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with the dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that... I guess it was the wolves. To the vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which... I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I wonder why they were all the way out here, though. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember. There's something the weird about that, yeah? Uh, maybe I'm just looking too much into it. Just feels like there's a... Uh... Part missing to that story. All these side quests, so many. If it was a mess, you are still in one piece. I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you need to have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her, then? Yeah, R.I.P. Tatia. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. Makes sense. I found this with Tatian. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Yeah, that's the end of that tale. Uh, interesting though, there's still there's some things that, that didn't really add up for me, but it is what it is. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. A smooch. The veil counts among its patrons several high ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser tongued gentlemen. 
It would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Otto mentioned the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Chaos. I will. And thank you again. Now, Keith. 